Welcome to the Omni CMS video tutorial on form submissions. There are multiple ways to collect form submissions by email and or by storing in the database. These are controlled from the email messages in form settings section when editing a form asset. To gather form results from the database, make sure the save results to database checkbox is checked in the form settings section. Those who have access to edit the form have access to the results. Please note, if this is unchecked, results will not be saved and cannot be accessed in the asset. To view form submissions saved to the database, click the Form Submissions tab of the asset. Results are displayed in a table with all form elements. Use the filter input to search the submissions. To delete a submission, check the box in its row and click Delete. These cannot be recovered. To export all results to a spreadsheet, click the Export CSV button. The spreadsheet will be generated and downloaded. Emails can also be sent when the form is submitted. You can create multiple email messages to send to different addresses. To create an email, click the Add button in the Email Messages section of the Edit tab. In the New Email panel, there are several fields to complete. The To, or Who Will Receive the Form, must be a properly formatted email address. More than one address can be added to an email by separating each with a semicolon. The from field is the sender's email address. The subject field of the email should be included to help the recipient classify the email. The body can be any message that you want to include in the email. Please note, if the body field is left blank, an email will not be generated. Use the Include All Submitted Values checkbox to append the submitted form values after the text in the body. Each form element value can also be used dynamically in any element field in the email, to, from, subject, or body. This is useful when generating complex email text or sending an email to the form submitter using the address they entered. To include a form element value in the email field, use the name of that element surrounded by double braces. For example, if the name of an element is first name, the text double braces, first name, double braces can be included in any email field to use the form elements value. After typing two opening braces in an email field, a list of form element names will appear. Click the name of the form element you want to use to have it inserted into the email. Remember to save the form asset and publish when complete. If you have any questions or need further assistance, contact the ITS Service Desk at 270-745-70 Zero, zero, or visit wku.edu slash ITS slash contact. For examples, best practices, and other helpful information, visit wku.edu slash omni dash CMS.